So Birmingham Airport is one of the UK's top 10 airports. It's also one of the fastest growing airports in the UK. And that's primarily because of its central location uh, in the middle of the country. It services a wide geographical area. But in addition to that, um, HS2 will terminate about 30 minutes away from Birmingham Airport, which will mean that the travel time from London to Birmingham will be reduced dramatically. So it's an airport that's growing quickly, and it's also going through a lot of change at the moment. Um, they've invested a great deal of money into the airport infrastructure itself to improve the passenger experience once inside the airport. Uh, and to sort of fit with that, they're also looking at a fresh digital strategy that will support customers outside the airport and inside the airport. So. When Cuba won the uh, tender for this project, we decided that we needed to focus on three key areas that would make this a success for them. Um, the first one was to recognize that primarily passengers need good and timely information. That's the primary delivery point for websites supporting airports. That means great and easy to use flight information, uh, up to the minute information relating to wait times uh, and also the ability to provide um, information in relation to emergency situations and changes in weather or, or, or other um, situations that affect the passenger journey. So good information is number one. The second thing for Birmingham was recognising that they needed a long-term strategy for their choice of digital platform. Uh, and this was critical really, because it was more than a website. It was choosing a technology that would support the airport beyond the website and that would deliver um, omni-channel content across uh, screens, across um, shopping panels and other airport infrastructure. So it needed to do a lot more than just deliver a website. And the third point was that we recognized there's two very different user experiences with airports. One of them is pre-airport, so that's booking parking, booking speedy boarding, and generating revenue from those key revenue sources. But once customers and passengers are inside the airport, then we recognize that's a very different user experience that really needs to focus on a stripped back version of the website that would support passengers for the things they needed inside the airport. So such as you know, security wait times again, um, pinning their exact flight information onto the mobile phone so they knew exactly what was happening with that flight. And also aligning it with shopping opportunities once they're airside. So it's a combination of you know, uh, 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 supporting customers inside the airport, but also recognizing that this is a revenue generating um, opportunity as well for the airport.